Here's a quick video to show you how to set up a LinkedIn group. We just go into the Groups tab and from there we've got uh, an option for create a group. So let's click on that. We then want to import a logo. Uh, so remember it's got to be a maximum size of 100. Uh, so you'll need to create a logo uh, in the, with the right dimensions. Uh, I found it works if you do one that's uh, 200 by 100 pixels uh, with a resolution of 200 pixels per inch. And that comes up with something around about 60. Uh, so that's what, how I've done mine. So let me open one that I've created. So here's one for uh, a channel called, uh, a group called Caravan Enthusiasts. And we just need to tick that to say that it's a, an original image. Then we want a name. So this one's going to be called Caravan Enthusiasts. Group type. Uh, I usually go for a networking group. And then enter a description here of, of what the group's about. So this will uh, this will appear when people search for groups. So uh, we can always change this, but for now let's go with you can then create a, a more detailed description of what the uh, the group's all about. So let me come up with something there. So I've entered there something for the description. Website's optional, so I'll leave that for now. Uh, it has your own email address as the group owner uh, automatically uh, in there. And then the access, you can either have auto join or request to join. Unless you want to get involved with management of groups, I would recommend it's uh, auto join. It just keeps life a lot simpler. Uh, that means, of course, anybody can join your group, but, but why not? You're going to use it for uh, marketing purposes. Uh, language can stay as English, location, uh, we'll leave that uh, unticked, that's if you're only particularly looking for people in a certain area. Um, we'll leave Twitter announcement for the moment in, in, unless you've got a Twitter account. If you've got a Twitter account then of course tick that and then finally just check the, uh, the agreement. And that's it. And, and then you can choose whether it's an open group or members only group. So unless you want it, keep it closed and invite certain people. I would keep it as an open group and let anybody join it. So create an open group. And that's the group set up. So you can now invite specific people you know within LinkedIn, um, but we don't have to do that now. We can do that at any point. So let's skip that step. Uh, and that's the group up and running. So now that you've got your group set up, um, what you'll then want to do is to go into the manage section to manage your group. So when you click on manage, there's a number of things that you can do here. Um, this is where people submit uh, discussions and uh, it, depending on your settings you can either uh, auto approve them or just let anybody submit discussions. I, I would go with that, keep it simple, let people contribute discussions. Uh, this is something you'll use to send out an announcement to, to members and this will send, when you click on send announcement, you can create a message that will be with both a subject heading and a message that will then go out. LinkedIn will send an email to every single member of the group. So that's something you can do uh, uh, up to once every single week and it's really, really powerful, but obviously you need some members first. Um, the other thing that you really want to do that's important is go to the template section and create a welcome message and you can use this to welcome anybody that joins the group and if you have a website or a lead page you can then direct people to that. So let me create a welcome message for this particular group. So if we click on welcome message we just need a subject and a message. So let me create something. I'll just pause this while I create a message. So here's my standard message. Hello, my name is John Wickersham and I'm the author of many books on caravans and motor caravans, including the Haynes book, The Caravan Manual. Why not check out my website? And then there's a link to the website there. And then also or visit my YouTube channel and there's a link to the channel here. In fact, this is a link to the, the, uh, the video that introduces the channel. So there, there's some possible text. Just a quick note on links. When you put in hyperlinks into things like LinkedIn, you need to put the HTTP colon double forward slash first and that will then turn this into a hyperlink that people can click on to go straight to the website or straight to the YouTube channel. We can also send a text message so uh, just so you can see that it looks how it looks when it appears. So let me just do that. And uh, when we're ready just click on save changes. Now everybody who joins the group 
will then get that automatic welcome message come through from LinkedIn and be told about the website, LinkedIn page, and if you've got a lead page, you can promote that. We need to make sure we click auto send is on.